Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, June 19th, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Washington, D.C. Quick update on the TCP Selective Acknowledgement of Vulnerability patches should be available now for all the major Linux distributions. I'm just finishing up a diary post with some more details. It should be made live uh, early on Wednesday tomorrow. If you can't apply the patch, then probably do want to make sure that Selective Acknowledgements are disabled on your Linux machines. This this is also in part triggered by TCP segment offloading in network cards, which is another feature that you could consider turning off. Now, when you turned off selective acknowledgement on your system, make sure it is actually turned off. So take some packet captures and make sure that in the SYN and SYNAX, you don't see the selective acknowledgement OK option from the system. I've run into a couple systems so far that actually needed to be rebooted in order for this change to become effective. At this point, I have not seen any code actually exploiting this vulnerability, so we probably still have a little bit of time left. But talking about vulnerabilities that are currently being exploited, Firefox released a critical patch to Firefox 67.0.3 or 60.7.1. This fixes CVE 2019-11707, a type confusion in array.pop. By manipulating JavaScript objects, according to Firefox, this can be used to exploit uh, Firefox. Now, Firefox will crash if it runs into uh, this vulnerability, but apparently this particular issue has already been used in attacks in the wild. So make sure you are updating Firefox today if you're using this browser. And in a win for the good guys, Bitdefender released a decryptor for all versions of Gantt crap. So if you still have a hard drive around that got infected with this piece of ransomware recently and none of the existing decryptors worked, well, here is another chance for you to hopefully get your files back. This, of course, in particular important since Gantt crap officially has shut down operations and I don't think it's actually still possible to pay for any decryption keys for this particular malware. And Google today launched a new extension, the Suspicious Site Reporter. This tool will allow Google Chrome users to more easily report suspicious sites to Google. Now, when you're installing this extension, you get a little flag icon up in the URL bar area, and then you have the option to report not just the URL of the site to Google, but also send along a screenshot and the refer chain so Google can figure out how you got to that particular site. As an option that's unchecked by default, you can also include all HTML of the site, the DOM content as Google calls it. This last option is probably unchecked by default because of course it could include personal information. Now, in addition to this, Google also now enabled a new deceptive URL feature. With uh, this feature enabled, Google Chrome will alert users of lookalike domains. So if you're going, for example, to a site that spells Google with a zero instead of the O, this this extension will alert you and will block access to the site, similar to what the safe browsing extension is already doing in Google Chrome and other browsers. This new deceptive URL feature will actually be somewhat personalized. It will look at the URL you're attempting to visit and check does it look like a URL that you recently visited. So we'll see how well this works, if there are any false positives and the like. Uh, Google had this in testing for quite a while and I hope they sort of got rid of uh, some common false positives uh, during that phase. 
Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.